So this, this news is out of Melbourne, Australia. A student is sentenced to 42 years for non-fatal stabbing of a homestay host. A Bangladeshi student who stabbed her Melbourne homestay host in a terror act inspired by Islamic State will spend at least 31 years behind bars. Judge Leslie Taylor sentenced Monima Shoma, 26, on June 5th to 42 years in prison for an act the bench labeled an outrage to our democracy. Shoma admitted to engaging in a terror act when she stabbed Roger's neck while he slept, while he dozed, beside his five-year-old daughter at Mill Park on February 9th, 2008. Shoma becomes the first woman to be sentenced directly for directly carrying out a terrorist attack in Australia. And just to let you guys know a little bit more about what happened happened here. I've seen a lot of people say, you know, well, maybe she did this because the host was harming her, um, sexually abusing her in some way. And that's just not the case. Uh, if you look at what, what, at exactly what Judge Leslie Taylor was able to read and assess from this, she says, you had absolutely no intention of studying. Your sole purpose for entering this country was to carry out a terrorist attack. She told police she had practiced the attack by stabbing a pillow while staying with a different family, but chose to attack Roger because he was vulnerable. Um, Judge Taylor said that Shoma showed no remorse in a quote, indeed, the only regret you've uttered is that you did not succeed. That sentence is despicable, she said. So this had absolutely nothing with, to do with the way that Roger treated her. He was, he was very good to her. He let her stay there while she was, you know, doing her studies. She went there with the sole purpose to attack somebody. She went there to kill somebody. And while Roger was sleeping next to his five-year-old daughter, she stabbed him in the neck. You know when you're when you're stabbing somebody, and they're next to they're sleeping next to the five year old daughter. How is that not like while you're doing the stabbing? Does it not cross your mind like, am I not the bad person here? You know, am I not the bad? Like, does it not think like it, it, it's it's one thing that you're stabbing somebody in, in right next to their child. It's another thing to these people actually think like they are the they are the good people and the other person is the evil one like the fact that you're doing that while you're thinking that you are on the right side like it's not it's not like yeah i'm evil and i don't care right it's actually you're thinking that you are part of you're on the right path you are the moral person here and you're killing evil like it's just I don't, I don't either. Like, how does, does it at all? Do you think does it even cross their mind sometimes that like, you, the, that they might be the evil person here, or does it not even cross their mind? I don't know. Like, what do you think? I don't but know. I have, an, um, I have another question, by the way. Look at the title. The title says "Students Sentenced to Forty Year." Why do you think it says "student" rather than "Muslim terrorist" or "Islamic terrorist" or something like that? Well, I, I don't have a problem with it saying student, and I don't have a problem with it because that's why she was in Australia. She was in Australia to study. Um, and, not and really. That, the judge said... I mean, right, not really. <laughs> right. But that was legally why she was in the country. Um, but I don't think that... I mean, if she was a taxi driver, would, she, would the, the news start with taxi driver sense and so forth? I mean, the fact that she was a student is not relevant to the, to the act. Right? If this was like a student stabs teacher, then maybe the fact that she was a student would make be part of the title. Like I just think if this guy was a white supremacist or something like that in Australia killing a Muslim, I bet you the title will start with white supremacist attacks Muslim or something like that. But why is it when it's a Islamic terrorist it says student? Like I, I agree that if, if, okay, if let's say somebody is a Muslim and they attack somebody and it has nothing to do with Islam, the fact the attack has nothing to do with Islam, right? They attack them because of some other grievances they have. In that situation, if you start, the, the headline says, Muslim man attacks store owner, and this had nothing to do with Islam, I think that would be an unfair title, right? Because the fact right. that he was a Muslim had nothing to do with it. But in this situation, I think it has everything to do with the attack. She's doing this. She's saying that she's inspired by ISIS. She's doing this because she thinks this is Islam. It has nothing to do with her being a student. Why does the title say student sentenced to 40 years for non-fatal stabbing? It should say Islamic terrorist. 
that's the that's the relevant to what she was doing. It has nothing to do with be. Like, and then we hear people saying like, people think it's the other way around. People say that, oh, when Muslims uh, commit a crime, it, they call it terrorism, and when white people, um, when other people do it, they don't. No, it's the bias is the other way around. What are you guys talking about? Well, that that's. Okay, we also see that a lot, though, because people are not keeping in mind what the true definition of a terror attack is. This doesn't mean a terror attack that we find, a terror attack is not something that we find disgusting, okay? A man can, or a woman can, run into a store and kill, you know, 10 shoppers, and they say, oh, well, because he's white or she's white and did this, this is not a terrorist attack. Correct. It, it has nothing to do with their race, but it's not a terrorist attack because they just did it to kill, right? You have to have a political or religious uh, motivation like behind her. your action in order for it to be a terror attack. This was indeed a terror attack. She went out with a purpose. A religious purpose uh, motivated her to go out and stab this man trying to kill him. So that is a terrorist attack. This has nothing to do with the color of her skin. This has nothing to do. Uh, right. Well, it does have something to do with her religion, but that's because she chose for you know this to have something to do with her religion, um, not not the news. So it's it's extra frustrating to me whenever we see things like. Um, you know, the, there was a, there was a white man that went off and, and did exactly what I said. He went shooting people at random shopping centers. Um, and they said, oh, because he's white, he's not a terrorist. I mean, it's, a, it's unfortunate that we can't keep in mind here. This is nothing to do with skin color. It's everything to do with the definition of what a terrorist is. But do you agree with me that it's unfair that this, that they titled this student sentence to 42 years of non-fatal stabbing of homestay hosts? It hearing what you say, uh, yes. Hearing, hearing after you said that, yes. Beforehand, my stance was I was fine with it being a student because that was still relevant. That's why she was in Australia. Right. Um, you I know, mean, the judge specifically mentioned that you, you, you had no this has nothing to do with you being a student. So given that even the judge agrees, I think the, the fact that they put students in the title is extremely biased. I'm, I think I, I'm going on a limb here and I think that maybe if this guy was a alt-right, neo-Nazi supremacist or something like that, oh, shit, I said that YouTube is going to punish us for saying that. But if he was anything like that, the title will just start with that probably, I think. So it's very unfair that... The main motivation of this attack is not even in the title. There, this is just tiptoeing around people's. This is the PC culture gone mad. Um, anyways, sorry again for getting disconnected. Ali, did you want to add anything? No. Yeah. Thank. Thank you, everyone, for staying. For staying yeah, I'm surprised so many of you guys said that's very kind of you that you guys stood by. Most people stayed. The numbers didn't. So sorry for getting disconnected. Thank you so much for staying. Um, your patience. Uh, I will. Uh, so somebody in the live chat suggested that um, I, you know, make up my own computer. Was but at some point when I can afford it, I will. But one day, hopefully. But right now, I don't know just what happened. But we'll try to fix it. Uh, one thing I'm going to do for future shows is just before the show starts, I'm just going to restart the computer. Maybe that helps. Uh, Christy is saying, and it it is terror. Think about all of the families who host who host Middle Eastern people in their homes, and what they must be thinking while the person is in their house at night. Yeah, but yeah, true, but but that they wouldn't be justified to think that. And I don't think Christy is suggesting that they are justified to think. No, that. I don't think yeah. she is. Um, and, but here's the thing: the the element of terrorism. It has a definition that the just the terror aspect of it does not make something terrorism not you know it, the the way terrorism is defined is not based on how many people were scared or terrorized right um and i know it's in the name so you think that well why why is that not the main element it's just how the, the way it's defined is the motives is it political or religious or not like when we had the la shooting Right? Remember the guy? No, no, the the Las Vegas shooting, right? The guy in the casino. A lot of people were frustrated for why that guy, that wasn't called terrorism, and people think like, oh, he he was white. Is that why he wasn't called terrorism? It has to be a brown person. No, because nobody know what his motives were. Okay, it doesn't right. it doesn't matter if the if the act if is big or small. People think like when you you call something terrorism when the victim when it's a big thing. No. 
something could be terrorism even if nobody died and something could be not terrorism even if 200 people died it's not based on the size it's not based on the harm it's based on motivation if it's political or religious is called is they call it terrorism it's very simple it has nothing to do with the color of the skin and it has nothing to do with the intensity of the harm atheists are under attack in many places if they were christians their voices would be heard if they were jews their voices would be heard if they were muslims their voices would be heard but they are atheists and not many seem to be listening let's make it difficult for them to ignore us we have built a global community and now we are tearing down geographic cultural and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other in the last decade we have built the largest atheist community in the world now we are doing the same in other languages with your help we have started atheist republic in persian and arabic انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.